in chapter 124 of Moby Dick, Captain Ahab realizes from the position of the sun that although all the compasses on board are pointing east, the ship is actually traveling west and has been all night. He concludes that the storm has mm. caused the compasses to malfunction. So Ahab magnetizes a needle and suspends it by a thread to use as a makeshift compass, impressing his crew. In chapter 125 of Moby Dick, Ahab continues to show his knowledge of low-tech navigation when he tells the crew to use the log and line method of measuring the ship's speed. As they do this, Pip approaches and speaks weirdly to them. Ahab stares into Pip's eyes and says, Ahab's cabin shall be Pip's home henceforth, while Ahab lives. Thou touchest my inmost center, boy. Thou art tied to me by cords woven of my heartstrings. The Manxman, the oldest member of the crew, says of Ahab and Pip's newfound fondness, there go two daft ones now, one daft with strength, the other daft with weakness. If the previous episodes showed the crew the darker, more irrational side of Captain Ahab, these chapters restore the crew's faith in him. Ishmael, however, knowing the outcome of Ahab's quest, inserts an observation. In his fiery eyes of scorn and triumph, you then saw Ahab in all his fatal pride. At this, echoes of the biblical pride goeth before a fall may very well ring in the reader's ears.